Hey, David Wygant here from davidwygant.com. I'm standing in my backyard today on a really beautiful, cold Los Angeles December day. It's amazing how people here think 55 degrees is freezing. You should see people going out in parka. And I thought about something today. Let's talk about the five red flags in dating. That's right, the flag that you need to go, woo, stop, man, beware, this person is not what they say they are. Let's talk about red flag number one. They talk a lot, but they don't walk the lot. Meaning, they talk nonstop. They're constantly selling you. He's telling you about all the things he wants to do with you. Well, guess what? He's telling you things because he wants to seduce you. But what's happening here, and you need to pay great attention here, they need to walk the walk and talk the talk. So in the first 30 days, I want you to write down what Mr. Big Promise has to say. Whatever Mr. Big Promise is saying, I want you to put a scorecard sheet right here, boom, right there, scorecard sheet. His promises and then what he delivers because you're going to see his best behavior in the first 30 days. So red flag number one is he's talking but not walking. Red flag number two, he's not consistent. Like he vanishes for long periods of time. He ghosts you. All of a sudden, you know, you're in this text conversation and then all of a sudden he just seems to vanish and gets back to you two days later. Well, I could tell you why he's probably vanishing. One, he's probably pursuing somebody else, and two, he might be in a relationship. Consistent text conversation means that he's consistently interested in you. Red flag number three, he doesn't want to give up a weekend for you. He makes excuses all the time, like he's busy with his kids, and, you know, and he's busy doing other things, but in reality, if he's only giving you a Monday night or a Tuesday night and not a Saturday night, what he's doing is he's hunting on those nights because he doesn't want to give up the prime hunting nights because you are not number one, which leads us to the next red flag, and this is a big red flag. Don't become his booty call. Do not give him sex if he's not willing to give you a relationship, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Every single time you sleep with a man and you start sleeping with him on Tuesday nights and you just start delivering what he's looking for every Tuesday night and, do, and he doesn't take you out or do anything, he's going to get comfortable in that. You need to make him earn the sex, which leads us to number five, his excuses. If he's telling you he's not looking for a relationship right now, you need to listen carefully. You need to not think no matter what you do is going to turn him into a relationship-minded man. And a lot of guys are going to kill me when I tell you this last part. If he tells you that he's busy at work and he tells you he's busy with his kids and he tells you he's got a lot going on and he tells you he's processing things right now, but he likes you, but he's basically letting you eat the crumbs, what he's basically telling you is he wants to have sex with you and never wants to commit with you. Because let me tell you something, when a man finds a woman that he truly wants to be with, when a man finds a woman that he's really attracted to, when a man finds a woman that he just can't live without, he's not going to make excuses up. He's going to create space in his life for you. Those are the five key red flags in dating that you need, to, you need to literally be aware of every single day when you're dating. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to pass this video along to all your friends so all of you can get together on the same page. Not only that, I want you to subscribe down below and more importantly, come to my website, davidwygant.com, where there's a free gift on learning how to speak man so you never ever run into troubles again dating. I'll see you soon. I'm going to go back and hang out in my yard.